What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So we are going to be fighting the fourth out of the five bosses of all the brand new bosses. We are going to go fight the Glacial Fissure boss, the ice boss down here in the lair, which is located to the south of Kovashad, okay? This is a level 85 boss, you could not fight him in World Tier 3, only in World Tier 4. But, inside of the dungeon there is a door that you're going to see that prevents you from going in to fight him. So what you're going to do is the item that you are required to go use to fight this boss is called Distilled Water, okay? Or Distilled Fear, excuse me. It's used by the occultist to craft a Nightmare Sigil to enter the Glacial Fissure. It requires nine, okay? You can collect these from completing Nightmare Dungeons uh, Tier 30+. plus. Okay, so then we come over to the um, occultist. You're going to go to Craft Sigils. Not under Sacred, you're going to go to Ancestral, and it's right here. Glacial Fissure Tier 31, Okay. And we're going to go craft. You see, it costs 250 sigil powder plus 9 of the 23 that we have. So we're going to craft one. Boom. It dropped on the ground because I need a slot. So now we have the Glacial Fissure Nightmare Sigil. So we're good to go. So now what we can do here is I think we just end up popping this. So then we right-click on this. It's a dungeon. Glacial Fissure in the Factor Peaks. We actually got a gold find on it, which is really cool. So we right-click. Activate the Nightmare Dungeon. Boom. Vote to start the Glacial Fissure. Waiting on my team. And it should give us the dungeon to go fight. Boom. Which is where exactly where the pin was. So we don't actually have to teleport there. I'm just going to use my portal. Just so you guys can see. So this is four out of five. The next one we have to go is Duriel. So we'll come into the Glacial Fissure. I'm doing the double load screen. But I just kind of want to show you guys and make sure that it's in here. That way you guys don't have get get confused. All right. So now it's here. Slay the beast in the ice. So let's hit it. Let's go. So I wonder if it's going to be a long dungeon to the boss. Oh. We got a little fanatic here. Go ahead and drop you. And we're off, man. Let's get it. I wonder how long the, the Nightmare Dungeon is going to be. It's kind of cool that it makes him the boss, though. Let's get it. I'm very, very excited. So far, I will say that Varshan is still probably the hardest. Lord Zir, or Zir, I say Zir. Uh, Zir is pretty tough. Um, Grigor so far is definitely the easiest boss that we've had to fight. Um, he's 100% the easiest. So we're just going to blast through this. Kind of reminds me of the same cave that's on the right-hand side of Fraction Peaks, you know? Last all these guys. That's a big circle. It's just got to be straight on. Oh boy. Oh boy. Get some, dude. Oh my god, blood surge. You are too nasty. And this is actually great because we were pushing for 90. We've actually went from 77 to almost 90 in about two and a half hours. Uh, well, excuse me, not two and a half, excuse me. I'm sorry, in six hours. Which is kind of crazy. Probably a little less than six. 77 to 90, 13. Yeah, it's like two levels an hour, guys. It's kind of crazy. These Nightmare Dungeons are just littered with elites and bosses. God, dude, this one's nuts, man. So many. Holy crap, dude. All right, here we go. Boss time. Here we go. Boss time. The Beast in the Ice, level 85. Trying to see what his mechanics are here. 
This is kind of cool. I know he's going to have more mechanics. So what they did was is they made the beast in the ice basically that what is that? Um what was it? The um what monster is this? The scourge of the land. That's who this is. So they made the beast in the ice, the scourge of the land design. All right. Made, oh, second mechanic here. Okay. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. What do we got here? What's going on? Ooh, that's kind of cool. Oh my god, what the heck just happened? Alright, he's back. Okay, that mechanic is pretty. Okay. It's not a bad mechanic. Alright, so far his mechanics are pretty easy to like dodge. Alright, I dig it. I dig the fight so far. This is cool. Dig the fight. Okay. I will say, with his mechanics so far, he's on the level of Grigor. Grigor's fight was pretty easy as far as the mechanics and everything, and so is this. This is pretty... This is like kind of like straightforward. Nothing too complicated or scary. Compared to like Lord Zur or um, Barshan. And that's crazy because like Varshan is, you know, five or ten levels lower than the beast in the ice. Oh, that thing's scary though. The push into the 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 snow there is kind of gross. Oh my god, I just went immune for it. The slowing down effect is really, really sucks. Like this stuff besides like slowing you down or freezing you really just doesn't even do a whole lot of damage. This is a fun fight though. It's probably a good thing that this fight is this way and he doesn't drop you anything that you need for other bosses and stuff because this is definitely on the level of Grigor. This is a cool boss fight, though. Um, I do wish that they would have changed, like, his appearance and wouldn't have made him a uh, scourge of the land, but he kind of looks like a Belrog, too, kind of. And then he freezes back up after the defeat. Nice. Tier 31. Oh, my God. 160,000. And he dropped some really good items. We're a little full at the moment. Wow. 915 item power. 923 item power. Holy crap. 914 item power. That's a pretty good ring. Oh my god, dude. 921 item power? 916 item power. Boy. So this is how you farm him for some very, very good items. It's similar to like doing Varshan from last season in a way. You know what I mean? But that's still really, really cool. And you get to level up your gems as well. He gives 68 EXP at level 31. That was a pretty cool fight. Not too bad. Now, I do want to go back to Kovashad and just see if there's any way to crack. If it's just the 31, just to kind of look breeze over that one more time. But I think it's just that, that 131 to craft. 
I think that's it. I think I'm pretty sure that is all, guys. But all in all, a really, really cool fight. Nothing too crazy. Let's go to the crafter real quick. So you can't craft it in here. It's only an ancestral. So glacial fissure, tier 31. Yeah, that's it. All right, cool. Well, that's the beast in the ice uh, boss fight, guys. Not too bad. Uh, mechanics are pretty straightforward. Pretty cool fight. I would say that the beast in the ice from completing your nightmare dungeons when you're just farming to get your distilled water is... I would use him, if anything, to not only level up your glyphs, you get a small amount of EXP towards your glyphs, but the fact that you're getting like crazy 900 plus item power gear from his drops is pretty insane, just like all the time. So definitely you could farm that way for just better, better gear because the fight isn't too bad. But yeah, like the video, comment down below, guys. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.